All right, John Bedini and uh, Chuck um, Interjects uh, YouTube video. They had a pretty good idea to uh, use a uh, Walmart battery that's never been filled. The lead acid battery that they sell, and the acid has never been added to it. And what they did is they add their crystal mix instead of the acid into it. And I, you know, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I thought it was a brilliant idea. So I went out and got one of these batteries right there. You can see the model number. And here's the acid right here. It's still in the wrapper. It's never been used. It's still in there. All right. But I added my own crystal mix, which is the um, uh, water, oil mixed one. Uh, it's very, um, it's in there. And it's very interesting how this thing is working now. It's a brilliantly simple idea that they have. And it's, it's, it's beautifully worked out because these lead acid batteries are set up for high amps. So you can do wonderful things with these things now. Um, but it's not producing a 12 volt like a normal 12 volt battery. I got I got a multimeter here. I want to show you the voltage on it. All right, looked it up. We are at 6.92 volts, and it seems to be settling down around uh, a comfortable voltage, uh, say around six volts, about half the voltage you expect from it. And it's got a tremendous amount of amperage in it. Um, more than what I'm usually working with with this type of battery because these plates in these things are much bigger than what I'm normally uh, working with. Uh, but I do have a little LED here. I want to show you the brightness of it. It's hooked up. Show you guys the brightness of this bad boy. Look how bright that thing is. It's completely washing out the video. I mean, let's put it sideways. That sucker is bright. That is that is wonderful. That is such a beautifully simple idea. I'm going to um, further test this out and see what I can do. Um, power motors, whatever you know. But that is bright. But this has got the um, mixture uh, with the uh, water and the oil mixture because it's got the benefits of water with the benefits of oil into it. And we're going to see how long this bad boy runs. As you can see I haven't fully filled it up yet. This cell right here is only right there. This one's 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 down here too. And these need to be brought up more. I can get more amperage when I bring these up. I need to be up there. So I gotta add some more. But as you can see, it's not fully filled up. And um, the acid's still in there. Um, just to prove that this is this is a brand new battery. I just got it today. I'm wondering if I can just dump some of it out so I can show you guys. It is a very thick uh, substance, so it might be hard to get out. Well, there's some right there on the top that poured out a little bit. Uh, let's see here. There we go. You can see it's not lead acid. So if it was lead acid. This would be burning my hand, but it's not. But you can see it's just uh, um, the liquid mix I'm working with right now, my crystal cell mix. But it's working very well and you can see that LED lit up pretty brightly. So yeah. So it's not hurting my fingers, so it's it's I wouldn't eat it, but still it's it's not harmful to the human uh, body. But there you go. Uh, I thought that was a very interesting simple idea. And I wanted to try it out, it works out very well. So, uh, good job, Bedini and uh, Chuck.